Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Praise the Lord. Got to look up that song and sing it. The verses are uh, so beautiful. You know, the last one talking about when Christ shall come with royal acclamation. There's a trumpet that's going to sound and announce the return of our Lord. Praise God. We are to chapter 4 in 2 Corinthians. Uh, Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. This is the Apostle Paul speaking again, uh, still declaring that they have an honest ministry before the saints of God. And uh, there's just some very beautiful scripture here you know, uh, from verses 6 through 10, talking about persecution. So we are in days of persecution now, still praying for uh, the minister in prison, Torben, and um, also there's a conservative, very outspoken young man who is a Christian um, that's, you know, when he went to speak at a university, they did the... (laughs) coming against him, you know, the rise up against him, not wanting him to speak. So a a real acting out of protest against him. So we just need to pray his protection as he goes about to speak. Um, We in America are supposed to have freedom of speech, freedom of worship. And uh, that is trying to be broken down, not just in our nation, but in many nations. They want to stamp out this word of God. But, you know, in the book of Acts, we see recorded when they tried to stamp things down, the people just scattered and the word spread. So that's just what will happen. There are more people that are being called And uh, those that love the Lord will be determined to live for him and shine his light. We are in a dark world, and we are entering a very dark time in this world. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. God has all power. We serve the Lord Jesus Christ, and all power was given unto him. Everything is under his feet. That includes all evil principalities and powers. Praise God. Chapter 4 of Second Corinthians. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we thank not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. So what's proving Paul as an able minister? He's handling the word of God without deceit. He's, he's laid down his life for his ministry to the Lord. Three, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Jesus was the express image of the Lord God. Verse 7, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, 
that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. So, excellency of the power. We are filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The power of God is working in us. Verse 8, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. So let's read from verse 7 again. No, from verse 8 again. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken, we also believe, and therefore speak knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. So we've got a resurrection day coming, saints. Hold on. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. For which cause we thank not that though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So Paul had gone through it all. He had been terribly persecuted, but he calls it a light affliction compared to what you and I have waiting for us in glory. We are working. There is a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory waiting on everyone that stands for the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 18, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So there's a difference between a Christian and an unbeliever. We have faith in a God that we don't see just walking around among us down here. We know that we know that there is a creator. We know and believe that these scriptures that teach about Jesus Christ, that he did fulfill all these things. He was the Messiah of the Jews. He is the Messiah. He is our Savior and Redeemer. You can't go to heaven any other way except through Jesus Christ. That is God's plan for the world. He sent Jesus to redeem us. Jesus paid the price for our sins with his blood. A blood covering was required for us, and it's Jesus' blood that covers us. If you haven't received the Lord Jesus, call on him today. Not a lot of time now. Not a lot of time. Look at the world. There are lots of souls that are about to go out into eternity because of war and uh, just other chaotic things that are happening in weather, etc. Lives will be required. Will your soul be in heaven or will your soul be in a lake of fire when it's all said and done? You are the one that chooses that. It's your choice. The Lord presents to you life and death. Today, every day, we choose who we will serve. And I'm just saying, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The Lord's bringing my family in. Praise God. 
Don't stop praying for your family. Pray, 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 saints, for the lost, for the needy, for the hurting out there. My goodness, look at what's happening in the hurting people. Keep praying for the children to be delivered from oppressive and perverse people. We have an attack on the children, and uh, God have mercy. God have mercy. Praise God. Praise God. I love the Lord. Acts 2.38, if you need to give your heart to the Lord, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Father, we lift up Israel to you. We pray for their protection, for the leader's wisdom there, God, all the decisions they must make. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for our children and grandchildren. We pray for the lost of the world, Father. We pray for those that have been taken captive and ensnared by ideologies that are so perverse that you would deliver and break free those bonds and clear people's minds to know the truth. Shine your truth into the hearts and minds of the people, Father, that they may be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. I love you. Jesus loves you more.